Hey there YouTube, Whiskey Cactus here welcoming you back to our Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition Let's Play. This is episode number 33, and last time we made it to Mount Temza and we found Judith. And it is time to hear what she has to say about stuff. So let's not waste any time. We are here, and she's got stuff to tell us. But we do have a skit, so let's get into this the skit. The hunting blades again? We didn't just cross paths this time. We're after the same thing. We just might have to fight. I'm sure we're gonna. If it does come to that, you guys don't have to worry about me. But we can't keep Judith waiting. Let's go. Carol. Our boy's growing up. Yeah. Isn't there some way we can avoid fighting the hunting blades? Probably not. I hope so. But it's pretty much up to them. Yep. Yeah, I don't get the sense that that's gonna be an option. So... We're here. Check. The rubble spreads as far as the eye can see. From the looks of it, the land was once adjoined up all the way over here. Up to all the way over here. Alright, well, we can't progress forward that way. Judith did go off in this direction. But I do want to see real quick what else there is. There's a treasure chest. Got melange gel. Can we use a melange gel? Because I'm not going to save it to come back. Because I ain't coming back. Let's use the melange gel on, uh... I guess we use it on Estelle, honestly. She doesn't need the health, but she needs the TP, so we'll go ahead and do that. Cool. Alright, so, we're gonna head over here. And follow Judith. We have another treasure chest. Grand Scepter. It's for Estelle. Okay, cool. We'll deal with weapons momentarily, but we'll continue on first. And, oh! There's more enemies. Okay. Well, see if we can get away with not fighting them. Gonna have to fight you, though. That's fine. Prepare to meet your doom. Pre Something about Estelle threatening enemies to meet their doom. Excuse me! I would like to get through you, please. Jesus. Okay, I'm about to get teamed up on here. Alright, first aid is greatly appreciated. Thank you, Estelle. Yeah, Estelle doesn't really have any business threatening Doom. <laughs> Seems a little funny. Not gonna lie. Take you guys out. You know, you leave my healer alone. You leave my healer alone. She is way too squishy to deal with your axe attacks. Die, bitch. Oh, I'm poisoned. Oh, God. Oh, I'm not poisoned. That is good. I would like to stay not poisoned, please. Oh, he's dead. He died before I got a chance to use my finishing move on him. Okay. Alright, you guys gotta really stop using up all my items. Let's go. You really gotta. You really gotta. I heard stories of a Critian town, but I never knew where it was. Well, it's here. Me too. Didn't expect it to be on Mount Temza. They must really value their privacy to build a whole town on a mountain. Is there something they don't like doing in front of other folk? Critians are a secretive lot, to be sure. Well, why don't we not bother them then? Clearly, they have their reasons. Alright. Can we, like, skip through here? We sure can! Fantastic! Alright, cool. Man, Judith really got far. <laughs> Judith got way far. Alright, we're getting all kinds of new weapons. We got two ways to go. There's a save point up there, so I'm gonna head back this way. So I imagine there's probably a treasure chest up here, then. Yeah. Indeed there is. Alright. Prepare to meet your doom! Alright. They're gonna meet their doom at the hands of Estelle. <laughs> Who is so threatening. She's so threatening and fierce. <laughs> I love it. I gotta say, I really do love all the characters in this game. There is not a single character that I don't like, except Raven, Ray, I could take or leave Raven, but 
Apart from that, I really do like, strongly like, a lot of the characters. In this like, I don't tend to do that. Most Tales games, I have characters I like and characters I dislike, and some of the characters I am very, like, neutral towards. I gotta say, every character in this game, at least all of the main party members, I really, really like. Okay. I definitely think in terms of... In terms of the cast of this game compared to other Tales games, this game definitely has one of the best casts of characters. God damn it. I won't lose. Pandor, huh? Great! Great! Wow, that did so much damage to Carol. Holy shit. Did so much damage. I'm gonna go into Overlord. Well, bam, bitch! I'm just gonna fucking tear you a new one. Just tear you a new one. That's it. Just gonna keep attacking. Non-stop attack. There we go. Uh, I couldn't... Why would you let me do it? I don't know. Couldn't veto it fast enough. I really sincerely hope we don't have a boss fight. I know we're going to, but I really sincerely hope we don't, because I don't have anywhere near enough... I have anywhere near enough, um... Orange gels for a boss fight. Come on, just fucking die. There we go. I'm just getting started. There we go. Got a limit bottle. <laughs> the hole in this mountain is like the hole in my heart. <sighs> How my chest aches. Getting all sentimental on us, old man? Nah, it's just memories of the war. I'd appreciate it if we didn't spend too much time here. Stop being such a coward. Oh, damn. That hurts, Rita. The only way to get past a bad memory is to embrace it. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Not really. I was just generalizing. Anyway, you want to hurry, right? Then let's go. Our little genius mage is more mature than she looks. Well, there we go. All right, so what's up here? Other than just you. Doesn't seem like there's anything. So I'm not going to waste my time dicking around with that guy. Got this. I can't get through here. I'm sure at some point there's going to be a way to, to buff up the Sorcerer's Ring to get through these areas. Not quite sure when that's going to be. I'm not too keen on waiting to find out. But let's go ahead and heal save point. That's really good. That's really good. Happy for that. Hey, Judith. So you are aware that this place was the ground on which the Great War was fought. Yeah, we, we kind of figured that at this point. Yeah, we heard from the old man here. The Great War was sparked by a type of Blastia. What? So, that's why she hates Blastia and wants to destroy them. They're gonna have a heart-to-heart? -heart? This was not a Blastia that had been excavated. It had been constructed in the city of Temza using a new type of technology. Interesting. They can construct Blastia? The Hermes Blastia. Hermes Blastia? I've never heard of it. And if you say it was newly built... Yeah. I didn't think you could make a new Blastia. Right. That was, that was my impression. The Hermes models were even more effective at converting air into energy. They were intended to... revolutionize the technology of Blastia. But... Instead, they caused a lot of destruction, am I right? But something went wrong. Yeah, they pissed off the Entelechaea. The Blastia using these Hermes-type formulas required massive quantities of air. So it's Magi technology and from Tales of Symphonia that required a lot of mana and caused the Great War. Uh-huh. The air crina began producing abnormal amounts of air in order to compensate. Interesting. That would mean the end. Not just of humanity, but all life on this planet. The Antilochia couldn't stand for that. Just like we saw at Cave Mock and the Weasand of Kados. Wouldn't like to see that happen everywhere. The Antilochia realized uh -huh. the dangers of the Hermes Blastia before the humans, and they moved to destroy them. 
which created a conflict that grew until it eventually became the Great War. Makes sense. So then the Angelicaea fought against the humans to help the planet? Makes sense. But why didn't they tell the humans how dangerous those Blastia were? Oh, Rita looks real pissed. Neither side probably cared <laughs> much if the other brought itself to ruin. There's never been any love lost between humans and Angelicaea. Probably didn't talk much. Or maybe there was another reason. Spit it out, Rita. What's up? But what does any of this have to do with you, Judy? Temza fell to the flames of war, and the technology of the Hermes Blastia was believed lost. Wait, you mean there are still Hermes models in operation? Apparently, I'm assuming those are the ones she's going around and destroying, right? Yes, at Rago's mansion, uh -huh. Emmett Hill, Gosforost, not to mention... On the ship. The Ceres Blastia on the Fiertia. Yep. That new Ceres Blastia must have been a Hermes Blastia. There we go, everything makes sense. So then you've been destroying the Blastia in place of the Entelechaea. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say Baul is one of the Entelechaea. You could have mentioned that. Yeah, you kind of could have. <laughs> Why didn't you say something? Were you gonna save the world all on your own? Are you stupid? She's got a point. Why keep it a secret? Oh, hey. Oh, hey. This dude. Fuck this. D oh, it's Nan. Nan! It looks like we found our mark. Ah, shit. You will not pass. You're a person, aren't you? How can you defend a monster? Because it's my buddy. Didn't you get the news? I said nobody lays a hand on one of our own. We won't allow that. Not even from you, Nan. We were having a conversation over here. Butt out. I can't believe these guys. Such scallywags. <laughs> Patty might be... I, I, I don't know. There's just... Just the, the contrast of, like, a little kid and actual pirate jargon. It's just... I, oh my god. It's perfect. I don't usually like to get my clothes dirty, but... Everyone... All right, I guess we're fighting uh, Tyson and Nan. Have the hunting blades added people to their list of targets? Nobody who associates with monsters can rightly call themselves a person. Fuck off. Carol, have you forgotten the credo of the hunting blades? Step aside. Monsters are evil, and the hunting blades pursue that evil. But what if monsters aren't evil? But the Entelechaea aren't evil. They were fighting to save the world. Don't let them fool you with that credo nonsense. They're on a job. They're here for the Apatheia. Sure are. Huh. It seems you won't listen to reason. If you have no intention of moving... Then I guess we're fighting. You leave us no choice! Boss fight. Oh, Judith has to be in the party? Alright, so what about Carol then? We'll swap out Carol for Judith. Because I'm definitely not switching out Rita or Estelle. We need them. We have full heals. Um, let me see what our what our stash looks like. We have oh god two orange shells, but we have maxed out pineapple, so I guess that's fine. We do have three specifics. Ugh, it's a little a little iffy, but I guess we're okay. Let's do it. So it's just Tyson and Nan, huh? This is serious. These guys are probably significant threats. I think I want to take out Nan first. I just have a feeling that Nan's probably the more threatening. 57! Holy fuck, man. Be killed. No, I want, I want to target blades. Nan. I don't care what you think of monsters. I will protect by Alright, so somebody else now we have to we have to do a um magic lens on Tyson. Even Holy shit balls! Even if it costs me my life. Holy shit balls, guys. They have a ton of HP. This is, this is significant. These guys are going to be a significant challenge, I think. Oh! We learned something. She go into overlimit? Alright, we'll switch over to Tyson then. Let her be in overlimit. Who just cast magic? She's casting magic. Oh god! Oh god! No, Nan has to go. Nan has to go. 100% Nan has to go. 
she is casting magic. That is bad news bears. Judith is out. All right, but um, Estelle's gonna bring it back. So that's fine. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. All right, how we doing? She's got... What's going on? Why'd I switch targets? I wasn't trying to. All right, I'm gonna just hit up Overload it, honestly. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Alright. Everybody, we need to, oh, Do we have a treat? I don't care. I'm gonna use them. I'm gonna I have the if I have the items, I'm gonna use them. I don't have a treat. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Alright. Um hmm. Stell needs to stay alive. Stell needs to stay alive. Del for sure needs to stay alive more than anybody else because she's my healer and she's the one who can cast things like Nurse and Resurrection and all that stuff that doesn't rely on items. There we go. How we doing? We're doing well with Nan. We're doing real well, actually. She's got less than 10,000 left. I'm almost about ready to hit up a, a overlimit. There we go. Let's do it. Oh, what up? What happened? Great. I don't know what that meant, <laughs> but it's time to overlimit. We're gonna take Nan out right now. There we go. Boom. Okay. Spellcaster down. Now it's time to take out Tyson. He's still got a ton of HP, but it's okay. He's now all on his own, so I am significantly less threatened. You can go ahead and use that orange gel, it's fine. We have plenty of pineapple gels, and that's great. Actually, as a matter of fact, use a pineapple gel on a- oh, she doesn't have item thrower. Fuck! I do. I do, I can. Oh, item thrower is so stupid. <laughs> I hate it. I really hate it. Oh, there we go. Nice. It's down to 40. That's pretty good. So far, this fight hasn't been hasn't been too bad. How is she taking damage? Oh, because she's right there. That's why. <laughs> I keep forgetting that Judith is a melee player. Oh, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. We gotta run. Gotta run around. Judith, don't get into danger. Don't get into a dangerous situation. Judith, fuck. <laughs> Fucking Judith, don't die, Judith. Oh, shit. I don't have that many HPs. <laughs> that's, that's not gonna work, man. <laughs> She's gonna use a life bottle, it's fine. Okay. So now I gotta be real careful. H how we doing? He's got what? What is that? Twenty-five. Okay. Um, I want you to take a lemon gel. So you're fully healed, fully ready to go. I need you to cast nurse. I need you to cast nurse. I really need you to cast nurse. Where's nurse? Need you to cast that. Um, just on everybody. Okay, it's good, I need you to do it again. <laughs> Ideally, you need to do it again, because our melee fighters are not, not holding up well. Not holding up well. Man, he is, he is a threat. It was easier when we just, when we had him and Nan, honestly, when I was just fight, focusing on Nan, stop, it's so much damage. It's relentless, that's the problem. Just, his damage output is crazy. Okay, we got Nurse again. So if I can just live a little bit longer, we should be okay. I'm gonna go ahead and overlimit him. Try to get him stuck in a combo. Oh, oh, there we go. Got him. Fuck off with my using too many arts. Oh, Estelle. Speaking of using too many arts. Take that pineapple gel. 
We're almost there. We're almost there. We've got 6,000 left. We're so close. We're so close. Stop hitting Rita. Stop hitting Rita. Oof. Oof. Don't hurt Rita. Oh, shit. She's dead. Okay. I don't want her missing out on the experience. So close. There's 200 hit points left. There we go. Whew. All right. Oh, were you going easy on them? Ooh. I'll fight anybody who lays a hand on my people. Ooh. Protectoring and resisting. Yeah, I feel good. I did it. That's the logical. Look at all those level ups. Damn. Nan, I'm sorry. Well, there we have it. The meaning of monsters. We sure have fought a lot of monsters. Yes, I thought by now they might be more scarce, but... <laughs> that sounds like something you'd think, Estelle. If we could wipe out all the monsters ourselves, we wouldn't need anything like barriers anymore. But why are there monsters anyway? So that people can defeat them, of course. No. I think that's a little extreme. <laughs> well, that's the only thing they're good for. No. I wonder. It seems there would be some good reason why they exist. There's no use thinking too hard about it. Get started on that train of thought, and you'll soon be asking yourself why humans exist. Yes, that's a good question, too. There you go, making things more complicated, old man. I was trying to get you to stop thinking about these things, not think about them more. Well, you didn't do a great job of it, Raven. All right, do we still have a, a save heal point? Yeah. Perfect, we're going to go ahead and take advantage of that. I think I'm going to go ahead and switch out Judith back to Carol. Look, if Judith were to learn some healing, then she'd be worth keeping in that slot. But Carol, as it stands, is a melee fighter who has healing. And Judith is a melee fighter who does not have healing. Hello, Baul. What up? Baul is trying to evolve as an Intelikea. Oh, dear. I didn't realize they were Pokemon. It looks like he's suffering. Baul, come on. You can do it. No. Yeah, you you have a bad I want to heal your wounds, but there's nothing I can yeah, do. Yeah, you you can't do that because we saw how that happened last time. <laughs> My power is poison to you, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit. Healing wounds isn't your power, Estelle. What do you mean? Don't you remember Bellius' words? Power corrupts. But you... You are different. Never lose that kindness. The compassion you so readily show to others. My compassion for others. Your thoughts are reaching Baul. I'm sure of it. All we can do now is hope for the best. <laughs> oh dear. Is it evolving? Did it evolve into a Dragonite? Well now. Amazing. It evolved into a something. I knew you could do it. Your partner seems like he's gonna be just fine. Yes. Thank you all for helping to protect him. This is something I couldn't have done alone. You're one of us. Of course we'd help. Yeah. Guild members stick together. That's right. That's right, meow. Oh god. Didn't I tell you? You got through to him. <laughs> you make it through to Pharaoh as well. Will you be going to meet him? Yeah, I think so. So to Estelle to decide. I'll go. It's been the purpose of my journey after all. Certainly has. Are you sure? What if you end up getting killed? Even still, I've got to stand firm on this. It won't be too long before the hunting blades send reinforcements. How about a change in scenery before they show up and spoil the party? Yeah, we should probably skedaddle. There's only one path down from here, though. We're bound to run into them. What if we fly on the dragon? Above us. Oh, is this going to be our air travel? Is Baul going to be our air travel? I bet it is. Have you lost your mind? I bet Baul's the way we travel in the air. Get on. We'll fly yep. as far as the Fiertia. We can finish talking once we arrive. I 
All right. Well, we have free range of the skies now. Maybe not. I don't know. Look at this motherfucker. I think we have free range of the skies now. It certainly seems that way. Oh god. Judy. She's sleeping. She must be exhausted. Seems that way. Yeah. I mean, she just killed over. I wasn't expecting that. I bet she watched over Baul the entire time he was evolving. She probably didn't get much sleep. She probably had no idea when the hunting blades would attack either. She was putting up a brave front, but she must have been near the end of her rope. She's just dumb. She doesn't <laughs> know how to express what she's feeling. Typical son today. And I'm really glad we're able to help Judy out. We can finish talking with her tomorrow. We should let her sleep now. In fact, I wouldn't mind a little shut eye myself. Yeah, let's all go to sleep. Sleep is good. Sleep is real good. We still haven't heard Judy's side, so we can't say anything, but she sure caused the guild a major headache, breaking Blastia's all on her own. There's no getting around that fact, no matter what her reasons. We have to settle this. Man, I hate waiting. All right, so I guess we can can we talk to everybody? Looks like. All right, so we got all our people. We got Raven. We got Patty. We got Estella so over there. Just want to take stock of everybody. Got Carol. No sign of Rita or Repeat. I guess they're inside, probably. Yeah. All right. So let's talk. What up, Patty? Don't fall overboard. Oh, I'll be careful, Yuri. The world sure is big. Sure is. Yeah. Even though we're flying this high in the air, we still can't see everything. If the world's this big, I guess it makes sense that there'd be so many things we don't know. Yeah? It might not make that much of a difference whether I get my memories back or not. Are you saying you'd be okay with not getting them back? I'm saying that I'm not the only one who feels restless and anxious not knowing the truth. Yeah, that's a that's that's a very mature thing to say. Everyone's worried about something. Even you and Estelle. Uh-huh. You think so? Isn't that why everyone's here? Isn't that why Judy came back? And is that why you're here too? I don't want to be alone. You know, you're being pretty honest today. Yeah. I'm always honest. Really? Well, maybe you are. Yeah, she she pretty much is. She doesn't seem to hide anything, really. Shiver me timbers. <laughs> it's so dumb. Why is she a pirate? <laughs> Shiver me timbers, but we'll never lay eyes on that out at sea. All right, what up, dude? So does an old man past his prime fit into the picture at all? We tolerate you, but that's about it. What are you whining about, old man? Why are you past your prime? Hmm. What Judith was talking about before. Hermes Blastia, was it? Mm-hmm. Blastia created with techniques that should have been lost in the war are still active. Do you know what this means? I guess someone who survived the war brought either Blastia or those techniques back with them. Was it you? If that person was still using the Blastia, even though he knew it was harmful to the Earth, or was it Duke, or Alexi, or Flynn, or somebody? Look, I got my short list. I got my short list of who the final boss, like, big, big, big enemy is. And it's, it's either Duke, Alexi, or Flynn. That's that's where I'm. That's where my money's at right now. Someone like that would have to be quite the villain indeed. Oh man, don't tell me you. Hey now, yours truly was nothing but an innocent youth on the straight and narrow back then. Uh huh. I wouldn't do something like that even on my worst day. Uh huh. <laughs> I was just trying to trick you into giving yourself away. You're a slippery one. Son of a. When are you gonna learn some respect for your elders? Yeah. Well. All right, Estelle. Let's talk. 
Oh, Yuri. Yes? Sorry to interrupt while you were thinking. Ever since I took Velius' life without meaning to, I've wanted to know what it means to be the child of the full moon, so the same thing doesn't happen again. I've always thought that it was my duty to know, but after what happened to Velius... That's how everyone is. They do something, they learn. They do something else, they learn more. Yeah? You too, Yuri? Sure. Yeah. Maybe if I had known everything ahead of time, I wouldn't have made any mistakes. Yeah, but you can't know everything ahead of time. Hmm. There's only one thing I can say for sure. What's that? Maybe you wouldn't have made any mistakes, but it sure would have been boring. I really wonder. <laughs> I don't think that really makes her feel better. Alright. Where are you at, Carol? Hello, Carol. Are you thinking about Judy? Yeah. I'm wondering what we should do about her. Well, it's really up to you since you're the captain. It's true that she broke the guild's laws and betrayed us. I always thought that a guild's strict adherence to its own laws was what kept it together. That there could be no exceptions, no lenience for those who would break the laws. But... She did what she did to save the world. Judy is destroying Blastia because she knows it's the right thing to do. Even if it makes people hate her. Yep. Judith didn't break our laws in order to do something bad. I know this now. I'm gonna talk with her about it and give it some more thought. I'll figure this out eventually. Oh yeah? Maybe if I become a little more decisive, Nan will listen to me too. I think you might want to give up on Nan. <laughs> Just gonna throw that out there. All right, let's go in here and see if the rest of my party's in here. So we still have Rita and Rapide to deal with. Yep. There they are. What up, Rita? Is that the core from the Ceres Blastia that Judy destroyed? Yes, it's definitely cut with a different formula than the usual core. Mm -hmm. It looks like what she said was true. She said she wasn't too good at lying after all. To discover that the new technique you created was bad for the world after what must have been years of research. Yeah, that's um Kind of sucks. I can't imagine how the person <laughs> who created the Hermes technique must have felt. Well, what if it had been you? If I found out that it hurt the Earth, I would have to do something about it. But Maybe I it was Judith. The Blastia like that. Maybe it was Judith. <gasps> uh huh. What the? Nothing. Yeah. Uh. If only things weren't so complicated. I could have just blasted her into oblivion and been done with it. Yeah, but you're friends, though. Hmm. You're friends. All right, Rapide, talk to me. Oh, okay. Let's let her sleep a bit longer. Well, okay. morning it's a beautiful morning but even as we stand here the air is out of balance well, that's not good and our world may already be dying okay um well let's try this again good morning Estelle <laughs> <laughs> what's what's with the um, crushing existential dread today that's right Oh, hey, Judy. Well, look who's feeling better. In the past, these slight fluctuations of the air have not negatively affected our world. There have always been beings who maintain the balance by sensing changes in the airflow. Beings like Pharaoh and Ba'ul, the Entelechaea. So the Entelechaea were responsible for keeping the air balanced. Sounds like. For ages, the Entelechaea have regulated the air, but the recent increase has been greater than they could control which is being caused by the Hermes Blastia. Sounds like. And which is also why you were going around taking down as many of them <clears> as you could. Yes, that was my mission. The path I walk with Ba'ul, to whom I owe my life. The path you walk? 
Now some would even hunt the Intellikea for Apatheia. This has made the mission of the Intellikea even more difficult. Why is everybody so crazy about these Apatheia anyway? Yeah, we really need to know that, because that's that's a significant puzzle piece here. I'm afraid I don't have an answer. The air an Intellikea absorbs becomes condensed within its body over time. When its life is at an end, that condensed air forms a crystal, mm -hmm. an Apatheia. That's all I know. I imagine Pharaoh could shed more light on the subject, though. So Apatheia are crystals of concentrated air. If that's true and the energy could be extracted from the Apatheia, it would be a source of overwhelming power, I'm sure. Could we really do that? Yeah, but at what cost? I... I don't know. That would mean that we would have to harvest the Entelikea. That doesn't sound like a uh, viable solution. Unless you're a bad guy. But if that's possible, there must be tons of guys who want those things. I bet somebody wants to use these things for the wrong reasons. Uh-huh. Why didn't you just tell us all this from the beginning? Yeah, how about that? Seriously, we could have avoided all this trouble if you just talked to us. Am I wrong? Even if you had known, there are things not even you could have prevented. What do you mean? I showed up at Heliord because Baul had sensed a disturbance in the air. Where there was a disturbance, there was sure to be a Hermes Blastia. But what I found there was not a Blastia. It was a person. That had never happened before. So it wasn't like you were looking for Estelle in particular back at Heliord. Yet for some reason, Baul perceived Estelle as a disturbance in the air. Hmm. I had to find out why. For the sake of the path I've chosen. It was at that time that Pharaoh first appeared. He seemed to have some idea who Estelle was. My mission was to destroy all the Hermes Blastia. However, Estelle was obviously not a Blastia. I needed to make absolutely certain I made a deal with Pharaoh. And he agreed to grant me some time. You mean... If it became apparent that her existence posed too great a threat, then I... I would kill her. Oh. Great. You what? <laughs> Wait, Rita! Yeah. Don't tell Rita that. <laughs> Rita will fuck you up. Settle down. Obviously, Judith reached a different conclusion. Yeah, obviously. All right, I get it. Bellius said you possess a heart of compassion. If you can communicate that to Pharaoh somehow, you may learn what you should do. H hey, there's no real reason for you to fight Pharaoh anymore, right? I mean, we know the Hermes Blastia are what's causing the problem and everything. Uh-huh. If we just make sure the Apatheia don't fall into the wrong hands... Uh-huh. I still want to meet Pharaoh. I want to hear what he has to tell me. But... Please try to understand. I have to know more about myself and take responsibility for who I am. All right. Sorry, Yuri. I don't think we can decide what to do about Judith right away. I promise not to leave again until things have been settled, as you said. I need to accept that responsibility myself. Let's go and find Pharaoh. Sounds like that that seems to be the thing. We'll finally be getting around to one of the first things we set out to do. Yeah. We can work out the rest once this is finished. There is a rocky crag in the center of the sands of Kogor. That is where Pharaoh lives. Baul can take us there. Okay, let's go. This meeting's been a long time coming. Sure has. All right. I can communicate with Baul, but there are still a few things you should know. Like what? Baul can only land on the ground in wide, open spaces, so you won't be able to dismount on steep mountain ranges or in narrow canyons. Can't he land on water? Water's no good either. Really? He looks like he'd be a good swimmer. <laughs> yeah, he'd sink like a rock. Huh, who knew? But that's why we have a ship, right? Right. If you'd like to get down onto the ocean, let me know. Baul will set our ship down there for us. Uh -huh. Okay, but what should we do when we want to fly again? Use Baul's horn to call him to you. Baul's... That's all there is to it? Every Intelikea has a special region in its brain that can be used for communication with a special power Critians possess. Interesting. Huh. 
So we can get a hold of him by using that. Right. So we got Bobble's horn. Press left stick in. Okay. All right. So we are <clears throat> using Bobble as our um, air travel. Move Baul, call Baul, control camera, land. Okay. Simple enough. So we need to go to the sands of Kagor. Alright. Well, look at that. We are flying. Judith, you're familiar with Pharaoh, aren't you? Is he really as scary as he seems? Well, let's see. Sometimes he's logical, sometimes he's emotional. He can be really scary or really kind. All right, that didn't help <laughs> very much. One thing's certain, his power is extraordinary, even among the Intellikea. Here's hoping we don't wind up looking like poor old Mount Temza the moment we meet him. Yeah, right? If he can do that to a mountain, there wouldn't be anything left if he turned on us. I wish you wouldn't joke about scary things like that. Why should we get scared before we even get there? Especially if he's that strong. Wish I could take it as lightly as you and Yuri. Well, all right, so we need to find a crag in the sands of Kagor. So that's going to be somewhere around here, is it? No, so that that is... Hold on, actually, I do want to... I do want to disembark here. I want to go to Jormgen, Jormgren, whatever. And I'm hoping there will be a shop here. That I can hit up. That's the inn. Maybe we'll take care of the inn too, but I want, I want to hit up the shop. Because we definitely need... <laughs> apple gel and orange gel. And melange gel and lemon gel and pineapple gel and life bottle we need all of it all of it we need so much of it that's good okay and do we still need no we, we're, we're fully healed okay that's good and I'm sure there is a save point in the end and actually I feel like it seems like a pretty good time to go ahead and end off the episode. It seems a little on the shorter side, but, you know, sometimes it works out that way. Um, but I don't think it makes sense to start getting into anything new at this point, since we are kind of almost 45 minutes in. So I do want to go ahead and end off the episode here. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. And make sure you are subscribed for more Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition. Next time, we are going to go and find this place that's supposed to be where Pharaoh is. It's this craggy thing in the middle of the sands of Kagor. So we're going to try to find that and then continue on. I don't know if we're going to have to fight Pharaoh or not. I would kind of hope not. Kind of hope we just have like a ground-shaking cutscene that like gives us a whole bunch of answers and then we regroup and figure out what to do next. I don't know. Something tells me we're going to have a big-ass boss fight with Pharaoh. Hard to say. But uh, I hope you're excited for that. I know I am. I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.